everyone, good evening. Welcome to the Armstrong household. It's a real blessing to be with you tonight. We don't normally sing on a Wednesday, but I've been singing a song most of today, and it's just just introduce it tonight. It's an old one again, as a lot of them are. Must, is it a sign you're getting old when you start singing old ones? Is that a sign of Absolutely age? No. No, 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 no. I don't know what it is, but anyway, I like this one. This is one. I used to learn all these songs when I come over to England because I was used to singing hymns. But this is one that says, Fill this place, Lord, with your glory at this gathering of your own. Isn't that right? Kathy, keep me right. I make my own words up as I go along. Because they get, Fill this place, Lord, with your glory at this gathering of your own. Reign in sovereign grace and power from your praise. Right. 
Fill this place. I'd love to say the dog was joined in singing, but the dog's been naughty outside. Kathy's just going to sort her out, him out. What a blessing to be with you again this evening. Just look at a few verses that I want just before we introduce our communion service. Kathy's back. She's going to read, and it's from Luke chapter 22 and verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon. Indeed, Satan has asked for you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brothers. But he said to him, Lord, I'm ready to go with you, both to prison and to death. And Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny three times that you know me. And he said to them, when I sent you without money, bag, knapsack and sandals, did you lack anything? So they said, nothing. And then he said to them, but now, he who has a money bag, let him take it and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say to you that this which is written must still be accomplished in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors for the things concerning me have an end so they said lord look here are two swords and he said to them it's wow. enough you know when when uh, jesus looked at peter that that thing he said to him was incredible just verse 32 i was thinking about today i've prayed for you i want you to know that jesus has prayed for you when he prays for us something happens he says i prayed for you and this is what he said to peter that your faith should not fail and when you've returned to me i mean it's incredible when you've returned to me see peter's faith mustn't have failed because jesus prayed that his faith would not fail but he says when you've returned to me oh sorry, dog one sorry, sorry, sorry. when you've returned to me in other words i know you're going to let me down i know you're going to turn against me so in the middle of the praying for him he says i know you're going to fail but when you've returned strengthen your brethren now some of you watching me tonight watching us here you might have failed and if you were to sum up your life you might say but but I, i've done so much wrong i've not made the mark i've i've let him down so many times and in the middle of the prayer before peter has actually betrayed him jesus knows everything and he says i've prayed for you and i want you to strengthen your brother oh by the way i know you're going to let me down i know you're going to, but when you've returned i'm talking about when you come back to me when you say sorry when i've forgiven you when all is restored then strengthen your brethren what sort of a prayer is that tonight for us so when he looks at you, he knows the failure you're going to make of things. He knows you're going to mess up. He knows I'm going to mess up sometime. But he still says, Kingsley, I'm praying for you. Oh, and by the way, when you've gone through all that junk, strengthen my brethren. I find that one of the most encouraging prayers in the Bible. And as we take communion tonight, Kathy's going to, to read from us for us from earlier on in the same chapter, in chapter 22. And when the hour had come, Jesus sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said to them, with fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I'll no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And then he took the cup, gave thanks, and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves, for I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood which is shed for you. Wonderful. We're going to take bread. So join with us. If you've got your, your cup and your bread ready, let's share with us. 
We will be praying for Texas in a minute, and I will pray for him very closely after this. But we're going to pray for Texas tonight. It's the one prayer request we have in, actually. We're going to be praying for the, when the hurricanes hit. You know, I know one has already, but, but uh, Laura's coming in. Carl's asked us to pray for, for Texas and Louisiana and that whole area around the Gulf of Mexico that God will keep you safe over there. Yeah. But let's take our bread this evening. His blood and his bread was, his body was broken for us. His blood was shed for us. And so we eat together, remembering. And, and what I want you to think about tonight as we take this is that he knows all your failures. He knows how you let him down, but he still loves you and he still prays for you. So let's eat together this evening. Right. After supper, he took the cup. And he said, this is a memorial. Every time we take this, we remember him. Now, different churches have different traditions. And I've shared with you many times, this is something God showed me at the end of last year, something to do. And we started off monthly. And then it, it became more regularly. And now it's daily. Uh, I don't know when it's going to finish. But we're doing this at the moment, just remembering him. Because we don't know what's going on with this COVID-19. And to be quite honest, it doesn't look like anybody knows what's going on. But let's pray that God will keep us safe. He will protect us. And he, he will bless us and give us all that we need. So let's drink together this evening. We want to pray for you. Father, we thank you for all our friends that are watching tonight and those that will watch later in different parts of the world. And we pray your blessing on them. And we pray, Father, for those who feel like they've failed, maybe like Peter, have let you down. Maybe you've turned away from you, and yet still you look at us and you love us. And so, Father, I pray that we will make it up in our minds to serve you. I pray your protection over each person who's with us. I plead your blood over each one, that you will cleanse us, that you will fill us, that those that need a touch from you, that you will yes, heal them, Lord. those that need to know that you're with them. Let them know it, Father, tonight. Put your arms around them. Let them know your presence in a very definitive way. And so we give you thanks, Lord, tonight, that you pray for us and that you pray that our faith would not fail and that we would strengthen our brethren. Help us to do that tonight in Jesus' name. We lift especially the state of Texas and Houston and right across that, that Gulf of Mexico border over into Louisiana. But especially as this Hurricane Laura hits, I pray, Lord, it will be down. Played. I pray it won't be a hurricane level. I pray, Lord, it will decrease in speed as it hits the, the coast. And I pray, Lord, you'll protect those people in Houston. Lord, I pray protect them from the rain, from any possible floods. That, Lord, you will diffuse this situation. That you will protect and look after your people. And we thank you, Lord, for your presence with us this evening. In Jesus' name. So God bless you all tonight. Kathy's going to read a hymn to us as she normally does one of my favorites it says lead us heavenly father lead us o'er the world's tempestuous seas guard us guide us keep us feed us for we have no help but thee yet possessing every blessing because god our father be and then it says savior breathe forgiveness o'er us all our weakness Thou dost know, thou dost tread this earth before us, thou dost feel its keenest woe. Lone and dreary, faint and weary through the desert, thou dost go. Spirit of our God descending, fill our hearts with heavenly joy. Love with every passion blending, pleasure that can never cloy. Thus we are provided, pardoned, guided and nothing can our peace destroy wonderful so god bless you this week remember the words that we've shared with you particularly from luke chapter 22 verse 32 where jesus said to peter but i have prayed for you that your faith should not fall and when you've returned to me strengthen your brethren so i pray that you'll be a strength to your brethren and your sister and everybody that you know this week so may the lord bless you we'll be back again tomorrow in your home at six o'clock or whatever time it is where you are and i pray that you'll have a wonderful week so god bless you and goodbye